he who undervalues himself is justly undervalued by others grace in woman has more effect than beauty good temper is one of the great preservers of the features time the most independent of all things confidence gives a fool the advantage over a wise man we are cold to others only when we are dull in ourselves if you think you can win you can win faith is a necessity to victory knowledge is pleasure as well as power while we desire we do not enjoy and with enjoyment desire ceases life is a continued struggle to be what we are not and to do what we cannot the greatest offense against virtue is to speak ill of it experience makes us wise those who are pleased with the fewest things know the least as those who are pleased with everything know nothing the mind revolts against certain opinions as the stomach rejects certain foods honesty is one part of eloquence we persuade others by being in earnest ourselves it is not fit that every man should travel it makes a wise man better and a fool worse those who make their dress a principal part of themselves will in general become of no more value than their dress great thoughts deduced to practice become great acts a man knows his companion in a long journey and a little in as is our confidence so is our capacity he who comes up to his own idea of greatness must always have had a very low standard of it in his mind habit is necessary to give power we talk little when we do not talk about ourselves those people who are uncomfortable in themselves are disagreeable to others there are no rules for friendship it must be left to itself we cannot force it any more than love I'm always afraid of a fool. One cannot be sure that he is not a knave as well. An honest man speaks the truth, though it may give offense. A vain man in order that it may. The most learned are often the most narrow-minded. the person whose door i enter with most pleasure and quit with most regret never did me the smallest favor a great mind is one that can forget or look beyond itself poverty when it is voluntary is never despicable but takes an heroic aspect goes before a fall they say 
and yet we often find the folks who threw all pride away most often fall behind. We are not satisfied to be right unless we can prove others to be quite wrong. Reflection makes men cowards. Hope is the best possession, not are completely wretched, but those who are without hope, few are reduced, so low as that. A proud man is satisfied with his own good opinion and does not seek to make converts to it. A man who is determined never to move out of the beaten road cannot lose his way. Truth from the mouth of an honest man and severity from a good-natured man have a double effect. When you find out a man's ruling passion, beware of crossing him in it. Poverty is the test of civility and the touchstone of friendship. The mind of a man is like a clock that is always running down and requires to be constantly wound up. I like a friend the better for having faults that one can talk about. An honest man is respected by all parties. Our friends are generally ready to do everything for us except the very thing we wish them to do. There is nothing more to be esteemed than a manly firmness and decision of character. Envy, among other ingredients, have a mixture of the love of justice in it. We are more angry at undeserved than at deserved good fortune. No one ever approaches perfection except by stealth and unknown to themselves. Some people break promises for the pleasure of breaking them. The most silent people are generally those who think most highly of themselves. The best part of our lives we pass in counting on what is to come. When we forget old friends, it is a sign we have forgotten ourselves. The more we do, the more we can do. The more busy we are, the more leisure we have. Those only deserve a monument who do not need one. The way to secure success is to be more anxious about obtaining them, about deserving it. The seat of knowledge is in the head of wisdom. In the heart, we are sure to judge wrong if we do not feel right.